Hey everybody, welcome back to Wealth Tech Digest again, where I cover the weekly happenings in the digital wealth market. My name is Ned Phillips, so let's dive right in. Our first story today takes a look at an acquisition made by Visa as the firm tries to strengthen its position in the fintech scene. Visa has agreed to a $2.2 billion takeover of European open banking platform Tink. This news comes only months after it ditched a plans acquisition of the startup US rival Plaid. Founded in 2012, Sweden-based Tink enables banks and other financial firms to share and access consumer financial data more easily. As we speak, the platform was already being used by more than 3,400 banks and other institutions, as well as, as over a quarter of a billion customers in Europe. Visa was going to invest in a similar, similar platform, Plaid, which is based in the US, but terminated the $5.3 billion deal. The reason for the termination was apparently a US government lawsuit aimed at blocking the deal on antitrust grounds. On the other hand, the European Union rules on open banking require banks to allow access to customer data by registered third-party providers to boost competition. It's worth mentioning, though, that some fintech experts said the Tink acquisition could face similar antitrust concerns. Simon Taylor, head of ventures and co-founder at fintech consultancy 11FS, commented on the issue. Tyler said Europe is a very different open banking market to the USA, but concerns similar to that of Plaid in the US may apply to Tink being a major player. If the deal is completed, it would be very big for the nation of Sweden. At least in the realm of fintech, the country is shaping up to become Europe's biggest hub for M&A exits in the fintech scene. Our next digest, we take a look at how Digit Inc. has closed a new funding round worth 16 million Canadian dollars. The round was led by returning Digit investor C1 Financial Corp. with the inclusion of two new investors, NA Ventures and Mission OG. From the funds it has secured, Digit will expand the capabilities of its platform, advance product innovation, scale operations, and add to its sales and marketing teams. All of these improvements will be centered on one goal, cementing its presence on, in the US wealth management market. Dr. Dan Rosen, the company's founder and CEO, said they are humbled and delighted to have attracted these new investments. Moreover, Dr. Rosen said that the confidence of the firms have placed in them validates their unique value proposition. The announcement comes as the company continues to experience explosive growth, doubling the revenues in 2020 despite the pandemic. Dari Urbanki, the COO of CI Financial, one of the platform's investors, praised the sophistication and scalability of Digit's platform. He adds that, his sophistic, that this sophistication and scalability is a strong enabler of the firm's growth strategy in both Canada and the RIA markets in America. In addition to that, Philly Doust, the managing director of NA Ventured, said Digit Technologies is nothing short of transformational. He continues by saying they have seen a strong demand in the industry for this type of solution. And finally, Mission OG's managing partner, Andy Newcomb, noted that they are particularly impressed with Digit's team and market approach. He says the firm is excited to support the company's growth as they further expand into the United States. There is a lesson to be learned from Digit's success. If companies are bold enough to innovate, ample funding will always come to them. Thank you as always for watching Wealth Tech Digest. My name is Ned Phillips, and I'm the founder and CEO of Bamboo. Over 300,000 people are achieving their financial goals using Bamboo's One Easy platform to help streamline portfolio management. If you would like to join a panel discussion with other industry leaders and myself, reach out on LinkedIn or ned at bamboo.co. Thank you as always, and we'll be back next week with more Wealth Tech News. See you.